March. Just as spring nudges against us once again, and the sunlight rests on broken winter trees, not brittle, but ready, and we begin to yield to the hope of brighter days, ignoring just for a moment the sirens in the distance and the discarded masks shuffling along empty streets. And even once inside the stark hospital halls and the stubborn beeps. We know it's okay to take a moment, to be silent, to remember. It's okay to know that we are resilient even as we stand stunned over the heartbreaking loss and the breathtaking recovery. The sliding away of an entire year, the sliding into another year, alone and together, through windows and across halls, bodies hooded and gowned, faces covered and turned. This, this is love in a pandemic. The eyes that had to smile for us because masks muted our mouths. The screens that said, goodbye, I love you, I'll see you again. The gloves that held our hands, not hands, but still heavy with hope and comfort. March said, I'm ripping away the life you knew, entering like a lion and roaring through the rest of the year. Somehow we held fast against furious winds, losing and gaining friends, patients, neighbors, colleagues, long months of data and doubt, stats and stubbornness, work and worry, yes, and grief and relief and guilt and pride climbing through us like vines or veins. And now, today, we remember we were there We marched, we gave, we prayed, we loved through a year that lasted so long, it's still here. We're still here, now commemorating an anniversary we want to forget. This March, we know it's love that moves us. The naked oaks will start to relief, the yellow crocuses to push through, and having rested for a moment, having reflected on the surreal, will stand and stretch with eyes open and hearts unmasked. We'll keep moving forward together to heal.